Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Goodman and I am your host of the Fur Babies Podcast and the upcoming Fur Baby Summit. I'm here with the Fur Baby question of the day, how can I get my cat to drink more water? Now many of you have asked this question and it also goes in line with other topics concerning their nutrition. Hydration is so important. A hydrated cat is a healthier cat. It also helps to keep their kidneys functioning well, to stave off urinary tract infections, digestive issues, and even behavioral issues. Sometimes your cat might be having a problem with the litter box, but they're actually dehydrated. By rights, cats aren't known for drinking vast amounts of water, and this harkens back to their wilder days. Before modern times, cats used to obtain everything they needed in their diet from their prey. This included hydration. Now we have to supplement that hydration and try to get them to drink water as an aside from their food. We know they're particular eaters, but did you know that they can also be sensitive to the taste of the water and also to the bowl it's presented in? Then there are the environmental toxins we need to be aware of. Fear not though, there are creative ways to get your cat to drink more water on his or her own. So how much on average should they actually drink? Veterinarians say that a normal 10 pound cat should drink seven to nine ounces of water each day. If they are eating dry kibble as their primary food source, it needs about four cups of water to break down one cup of kibble. So vets also recommend either using stainless steel bowls or ceramic bowls with a clean lead-free glaze. There are so many options in this range though as well, from style to size to height. We found that most of our cats really like free-flowing fountain-style water bowls and will often drink more that way. Another creative way to get more water into your cat's diet is to feed them canned wet food. Now, the intricacy of food is a topic for another day and a multifaceted one at that. But the takeaway here is that we try to do the best we can with what we have where we are. So if you can feed canned wet food to your cat and your cat accepts it, then it's a plus point for better hydration. Now, some cats will absolutely, they'll give you a what for and refuse the wet food. The same goes with different brands of dry kibble or brands in general. Again, they can be particular. The key is to keep trying and you'll hit on something that works for both your cat and your budget. Another way we add water into their diet is to add it to their food, no matter what that is. I'll take a can of food and mix in water with it so that they get more. I've added water to freeze-dried foods and kibbles. Now you don't want the food swimming in the water per se, unless you have a kitty with dental issues and sometimes it's a little easier for them to eat if the food texture is soupier or like a gravy. Um, So that works. But try adding multiple bowls of water around the house and look for ones that avoid whisker fatigue. This is where the cat will have to rub their whiskers along the sides of the bowl and generally that's unpleasant for them. It may take a few tries to see which kind of bowl your cat likes best, but there are so many options. Again, make sure to give them fresh water each day in their bowls. Uh, Some fountains can circulate a lot of water, but being on the ground, it's subject to everything floating around in the air of your home. Dust, fur, kitchen cleaners, sprays, food particles, gnats, everything. So if you change the water for them each day and wipe down the inside of the bowls, it will be much cleaner for them and more than likely they'll drink more. So these are a few ways to get more water into your cat's diet. Which ways work best for you? Share in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. So that is our question of the day. And if it's been of value, uh, these kinds of questions and more are some of the topics we'll be covering in the upcoming Fur Baby Summit. So you can go to furbabysummit.com to get signed up. We thank you for listening and for being the amazing fur baby parent that you are. Sending purrs, wags, joy, and love to all of you. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.